Hey, what's up, YouTube, friends, family? This is Lil TXL, you know what I mean? This is uh, Lil TXL Speaks Part 1. And I'm gonna be doing these videos, man. And uh, I don't know how many you're gonna do, but you know, what I'm gonna be doing is just basically just keeping it real, you know, letting y'all know who Lil TXL is, you know what I mean? How it all came about. You know, how I got in the bass world, how I got into rapping, you know, Lil B, Tupac, Soldier, everybody that inspired me to go get where I'm at, you know, do follow my dreams, you know. And we just gonna keep it real. So in this part one and uh you know I'm a bass freestyle the topics, you know, whatever I feel like saying, like Lil B say. I'm just gonna go off the conscious mind, you know, just and just flow it out. And today I'm gonna talk about um, why why Lil B and Tupac were my favorite rappers. Tupac, Tupac and Lil B were my favorite rappers. Tupac has been my favorite rapper since I known rap because that was my that's my dad's that used to be my dad's favorite rapper so of course I'm gonna listen to him and figure out you know why my dad liked him and he ain't like no other rapper you feel me so I'm over here listening to Tupac and I'm just getting all this rare rare knowledge you feel me um, and I never heard from music and I'm even getting feelings that I never felt before just for, from music, you feel me? So, uh, then how, so, basically, and that just started me wanting to rap, you know, and tell other people, you know, some stuff. And maybe I can help them, you know, like Tupac helped me. And so I started rapping, you know, around like... I don't know what time, around 2006, I believe, that just pops in my head. Um, I met up with my homie, my brother, Young Jordan. He, uh, we created XL Swag, you know, and we started rapping ever since then. Um, we had seen, we seen Soldier Boy, he made it off YouTube, and we was like, well, we know how we're going to do it. And that's, that's what introduced us, I mean, Soldier introduced us to Lil B. So at this time, my favorite rapper is Tupac. I found out how so uh, we seen how Soldier got got on, like not you know as big celebrity wise, but just like known, like his name was known, you know. And then also when I found Lil B, uh, I think the first song I heard was like Fire It Up. You know he was on there with Soldier Boy, Jabbar. You know, Big Hood Boss and uh, Lil Playboy, and I heard it, and I was like, "Who the heck is this?" You know, because I, I we used to watch Soldier ever since he was, you know, in wherever Mississippi, I think it was, and like when he was in the like riding in other people's cars and stuff, making videos. That's when we was watching him, and we watched him all the way up to where we found Lil B, and then when we found Lil B. It was just like, dang, I don't know. Everything started to change after that because I was like, who is this? If they're messing with Soja, we want to know who it is. So we go study them. We go watch the videos because it always happened to be whenever Soja, you know, start teaming up with people, they blow up. Like Chief Keith, Riff Raff, all them people. So we go study Lil B and we're like, man, this is some different type of rap. I never heard this type of rap before. And it was like, what is he, why is he doing this? You know, and it just, it took a while to really get it. Because every song we would go to, he had so many songs. The ones that we were clicking on weren't really the songs that he was telling, you know, what he was, what was really going on, what he was doing. So we was kind of confused, you know. And we just thought he was a rapper that he just rapped, you know, different. You know, so after a while, I moved to Louisiana. Right now I'm in Iowa. I moved to Louisiana where I was born at, in the middle of high school, and I finished out high school there. 
And during that time in Louisiana, it was way different. You know, coming from an all, all white school, number two education in, the, in America to the 49th education in Louisiana, you feel me, which is all black school. And I had like proper English and all that, so what, it, whatever you want to call it. So they call me white boy, you know all that. And, and I'm still, now I'm by myself. I got more time to study and stuff because I'm bored in high school. You feel me? So I, now I'm looking at Lil B and Tupac and I'm rapping by myself down there. And freaking, I was listening to, I went, I found his I'm Gay mixtape. And then I heard Trapped in Prison. And he was just that, it touched me, like, it made me, I don't even know, it just opened my mind to just, like, to life or something. And then I was just like, dang, this dude Lil B go hard as free. And ever since then, I just kept studying, studying, you know, for years, I think almost like three, four, five, however, I don't know how long I knew Lil B, but that's my homie. And, you know, I always got to make sure to hit him up. And thank him, you know, for what he's shown me or everybody else. You watching this video, you probably watching it because you messed with Lil B. Shout out to you, you feel me? Because I would have never, you know, got to do this with you, you feel me? So shout out to Lil B for that. But like I was saying, yeah, I was studying Lil B, got in the bass world. You know, I got on Twitter more. And I'm seeing Lil B, he start, he was responding, he was responding to me, and like, I hit him up, you know, he followed me, you know, the, after a while, that was a big moment, I even made a video, cause it was crazy, cause I was like, dang, man, Lil B followed me, cause I was watching him after all these years, and he finally did follow me, and that made me just like, well, then he supports what I'm doing, so it made me want to keep rapping, and at that time, I had started to switch from, I was trying to rap like Tupac when I first started, but then it totally switched because when Lil B, when I learned about Lil B, because I just, I just couldn't rap the same no more, if that, that make any sense. I couldn't rap the same no more, so it sounded, it was more bass, you know, I started doing more bass freestyles and stuff like that, and it was realer, so I did that, and you know, I lost a lot of people that listen to my music, they didn't like it, but like after I kept doing it for a while and they, they was just like, okay, you know, maybe there's a reason, deeper reason why he's doing it. And I just seen how many people it helped and, you know, the couple of states I've been at, like Louisiana, you know, Iowa, Florida, Colorado, or um, Oklahoma. Arkansas, uh, every place I went to, I show something about bass or Lil B or any something that I learned, and the people slowly, you know, slowly they start changing, just start being more positive because once you get, once you really turn bass, like you're not gonna want to, you're not even bad stuff's just gonna feel weird to do because bass we positive, so it's like when you're doing bad stuff, it's just gonna feel weird and. I just wanted to get on this video today, just tell everybody, you know what I'm saying, it's the first blog or whatever, Lil TSL Speaks, you know, I don't want to make the first video too long, so I want to thank everybody for if you did watch this video, it's Lil TSL, shout out to Lil B, Bass World, all my homies that I met in Bass World, dang, I gotta shout them out, um, dang, shout out to freaking Lil B, Shout out to uh, Bay students. Um, shout out to Lil B, Cutie. You know what I mean? Uh, freaking dang. Who? Nephew birthday. Who else would shout? The Sheiky. The whole YWY. The Mike Shields. Uh, Twomp Sack team. Freaking shout out to uh, dang. Who else? Man, Aaron. Aaron bro guy, he legend is freak. Shout out to my brother Young Jordan. Shout out to my girl Wave Queen. I'm gonna have to do a blog about that sometime. How I met my first bass girl. That was dope. And um shout out to shout out to everybody that hit me up that's in bass world because there's so many people and they all tight as freaks. So but shout out to y'all man. 
apologize for my hair, but you know it's all good. We base, you know, shining all day, pretty boys, like we do. Have a good day, everybody, man. It's Lil TXL. I'll be back.